Hi, so in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to import your import sheet. So what you do is when you log in, you'll come into your dashboard. You want to go all import and go down to manage imports. And then what I'm going to do is, is I am going to click on this link here. And as you'll see, it will download the import sheet. Okay. Uh, so now let's say we've, let's just open the import sheet here. So we'll just open the import sheet, go to downloads, there's your import sheet there. Okay, so let's say uh, you've made changes to the items and the, uh, the, you've changed the prices, the images and the descriptions. So what you'll do is now you've got to upload the import sheet to make it update all your six products. So what you're going to do is, is you're going to hover over this section and go to settings. Then push the big green button that says upload file and then I will go to my downloads and I'll select your sheet and as you'll see it says uploading, upload complete, you're going to scroll down to the unique identifier and click edit, then you're going to click continue. So basically what that does is it just forces the system to refresh all the little links like check that the, uh, on the right hand side the title is still the title, the product categories are still the product categories and so on. Once you've done that, you'll scroll down a bit and you'll go save uh, import configuration. Once you've done that, you'll be uh, your, your upload has been saved and then we will be ready to run the import. So you'll click run import. And then you would go confirm and run import. Once you've run the import, what will happen is, is that a, a, a progress bar will appear. Uh, in this section and it will tell you 1%, 2%, 3%. Obviously, if you've got a large amount of products, it will take a little bit longer. Yours should take nothing more than five to 10 minutes. And then around this section here, you'll see a progress of what's actually happened. And then once the, once the import has been complete, around this section where this green button is just underneath it, you will see how many items it skipped, how many items updated, how many uh, items have been moved to draft and whatsoever. So basically whatever you've done on your import sheet, it will show you in front of you here. And that is how you'd run your import sheet.